Oh, hi. So I'm just going to do a stitch video here. So it's not a finished project. Um, I'm still in the process of learning how to do all my stitches on the KISS loom. It just arrived uh, recently, so I have started seeing how my stitches work on it. So I'm going to show you Owl Eye. And the first thing that I noticed was that Owl Eye will be looser on the KISS with the same yarn in, um, well this is a three quarter inch gauge on the Kiss loom, but a three quarter inch um, gauge on a nifty knitter type loom would be tighter than this with Charisma yarn. But it comes out loose, it's pretty nice looking. I don't want it to fall off the pegs, I'm still learning not to let the, the it fall off the pegs. Oops, I caught a stitch there. Take that off. Okay, um, so it looks like this and um, careful we can <laughs> look at it here there we go I don't want anything to fall off there's what the stitch looks like I did a long tail cast on I'm gonna learn better cast ons but that's okay um, it would work and my sides I'm doing the same way um, I normally do them and they're giving you the braided look there um, of a nice tight edge okay so um, I've already knit this stitch so I'm going to go behind the backboard and go over and do the first of Owl Eye. And I'm going to pull on it a little bit because I don't want anything to catch on the pegs and because I want to keep it loose and keep my finger on there so it doesn't fall off and then just knit it over. And then we're going to rewrap it. And when I rewrap it, I'm going to go behind the pin, put it over the next peg to wrap and pull it slightly. And then come over here, pull it slightly to knit it over. So it's nice and clean. Wrap the peg, go behind the, the, the back back um, pin. <laughs> I can talk. Knit it over, knit the next one over, rewrap it like that over the next peg, knit it over, come over, knit the next one over, from behind, go over, wrap it again, behind the pin, over to the next one, and keep pushing them down. They can work their way up, especially if from the way you're holding it. And then I'm just going to pull and knit this one over, pull gently, knit this one over, come around, wrap it, go behind, wrap the next one, pull it over, pull this one over, Knit it over that is, and then over the front, behind the back. There you go. And I'm always keeping my finger here to keep the, it from slipping off because there's no tops on these pegs and they can certainly um, <laughs> fall off easy. And then this one. And then I'm just gonna show you how I do the end. I just knit over the end, pull it to tighten it a little bit, yarn back over it, pull on it so it goes over, and give it a bit of a tightening behind the pin and over the next peg to go this way. And then I just knit it over. Make sure I get the yarn good, there we go and then knit it over again and come over and wrap. Again, just going the other way. And then we wrap it again, go behind the peg, wrap the next peg. Always make sure you get all the yarn. You don't want to split your yarn. And uh, this is yarn I've used to do a number of swatches and undid it so it uh, can split really easy. And there, that's all there is to it. It's easy to do on the kiss. It, um, I've done enough to see that it's going to uh, be the same and not curl, which is really nice. So you can do a whole project just doing this stitch. I will be looking at some of my other stitches and seeing how well they do on the kiss loom. But I'm pleased with the way Owl Eye is working. So there you go. So basically how you do it. Keep pulling down your work and now you can see a little bit more here. 
There's your owl eye stitch. So it's looser. Uh, that's how it usually looks when I use a worsted weight on a large gauge. So um, next time I'm going to try a super bulky, some of my super bulkies that don't even work on the nifty knitter because uh, then owl eye is too tight and I think I'll be able to do some really nice pieces with my number six yarn in owl eye. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, bye!